Oh, I told you this was going to get more interesting. <laughs> we can do different. We can break our equations that we're given for summations into different pieces that try to help us solve really the answer for them. So I'm showing you five different properties that we have here, and I'm going to go over a couple of them here in a moment. But I'm highlighting the ones right now that are probably going to show up in your homework, so just a heads up for that. And property number five, by the way, is one of the more difficult ones, only because if we happen to start at a different value of k not 1, then we can use this property to kind of help us dig out of that and start from another value instead of just one. So notice all the values that we have here, k or n or j, whatever the heck it is, they all start at 1. But what if we wanted something a little bit different? We want to start it at 2 or, well, whatever, 0. Then we need some, well, things, well, changing some things around here. So anyway... So in the first one that we have here, whenever we have a constant in front of some type of other part of the equation, we can go ahead and pull any constants that we want out in front and still do our summation for that item that doesn't, frankly, have a portion of the constant. If we still had a constant, we can actually, and this is why we can pull this sucker out, is that we can go ahead and just multiply it by n because we're going to be doing it that number of times adding those together because it's summation, which is exactly like multiplying, and getting our value from there. So let me go over number two here. This is exactly what I was just talking about. If we have three or summation of k of equals one to n and our three, then it'd be three of one, three of two, three of three, all the way up to three of n. And instead of just adding all of those together, we can just do the multiplication of it because we're, again, we're adding the same thing to it each time. We can use our multiplication to get 3 of n for that particular one. Try it out. Prove me wrong. I'd be happy to show you. But try it out for number two. So here's an example using property number three. So in property number three, uh, ignore that for just a moment. Here I'm given this equation, and we have 2k plus 3. What happens is, is that if I'm given a certain equation that's frankly all combined using a plus or a minus, I can then break them down into smaller um, sigmas or, or whatever you want to call it here and able to solve them maybe just a little bit faster because frankly, here we have a constant with an n. We can go ahead and just multiply it like 3n like we wanted to. Or in this example over here, we have a constant in front of a variable, so we can pull that constant out and then make that easier to solve too. So notice all these properties are trying to make it just a, a little bit easier for you to solve in the long run. So that's what's happening when we have our property number three in this particular example. 